Hey friends, Shane from HunterWrench.com. Hey, you know, the whole point of buying these tools is so that you can do it yourself, trust the results, and figure out what you need to do. Well, I got a great example of when these tools will do nothing but give you grief. But the real question is, is it you or is it the tool? But we're gonna talk about both ways we can do that. I got a great example of being tricked by this tool and getting bad results when it really wasn't bad. Check this out, more tips on what to do and more importantly, what not to do. Let's go. Have you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell? You're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. Hey friends, I'm uh, taking a bunch of batteries out of my motorcycles and, and fueling stuff and storing them for a bit when I go to travel across the pond to do some more training for some technicians. And I found this interesting thing I hadn't seen before on my uh, load testing tool. And I'm gonna see if I can capture on video. I'm just gonna try it again and just in case I'll be able to capture it. But you can see I'm going through here and I'm putting the date and what vehicle it is and so on. And I, I've, this is the second time it's happened. So it's, it's making me wonder about how important it is to have a really good connection on the tool to the battery. So this one, this this a brand new battery. This one, let's see, this one's brand new. There's a whole bunch of them there brand new. And so this one just failed. And I was like, whoa, what's going on here? Maybe, maybe I don't have the specs right or something. So I test again and it passed. And that was the same thing that happened on this one. It's brand new RC51. So let's do this big Harley one again and see what happens. But if you hadn't seen my other videos on this top-down tester, this one's actually getting a little outdated now. It even has a printer feature on it. Um, but it's still pretty rad. I love this tool. It's been great. Measures the internal resistance of all these batteries, but let's just watch this thing go. So what happened here, you could see these are loose and this is what I think may have been my problem. So I'm just going to go ahead here and grab onto that. I haven't really worried about it. I mean, if it's bad, it's bad. And so I just put on here, you'll see this fires up. I'm going to go ahead and hit, uh, okay. Let's see battery test. It's a AGM. I still don't know the difference of those two, but I get the same exact results from doing a million of these. And cold cracking amps, um, I lowered it thinking, uh, let's see what happens. So let's go back up. I'm pretty sure this was a, uh, a 310 cold cranking amp battery. Unfortunately, it's not labeled on here. I'd have to go look at the, uh, the um, sales ad on that, but go ahead and test. Okay. Yeah, it's showing bad again. Check this out. Brand new battery. It's saying that it's fully charged, okay, but that it's only 12% healthy and that it only took, it only um, was able to put out 110 cold cranking amps. And look at this re internal, internal resistance. This is really high. When you have a good battery, this number is much lower. Uh, I'll see 10 um, milliohms or whatnot of resistance. So uh has the rating that i plugged in is telling me to replace it but now check this out okay so i'm just going to go ahead and what i did is i went and i really grabbed on here and got a, a much better connection okay and we're going to see if this makes a difference on the output so i'm going to go ahead here hit same thing okay battery test okay same thing Hold the cranking amp, and let's see what happens. Look at that. Now it went right back up, and actually it was at 305 right after charging it, and now we're at 93% uh, healthy, 98% charge. You can see it's dropped a little bit. Internal resistance, so that dropped all the way down. So what's the lesson here? The lesson here is that the integrity of the connection of the tester is just as important as there being a bad connection in the battery. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm just being super transparent here. I think that I may have taken that for granted on a few of these just from, just, you know, throwing it on there and, and just maybe I was getting lucky and getting a lot of really good results. But I mean, a lot of these here, you know, you just crank it on here and you, you, get, a, you get a pretty good bite. But with this one here, and you know who knows maybe when i reset my connectors here the second time i got a better bite so i wouldn't jump right into uh junk in your batteries uh it's like with all my other test videos when it comes to electrical i say you gotta do this one thing if you ever get a bad result retest 
Uh, if you keep getting bad results, maybe if you have a couple different meters or whatnot, you could go ahead and check it against a good known meter. But this was super rad that I was able to catch it on video and show that that tester would deem this bad when it was all the human error of how you hooked it up. Hey friends, if you haven't done so yet, uh, join the channel. I'm going to pop out this uh, member video too where I'm going to go in a deeper dive on uh, that internal resistance specification and, and how you can use that to your advantage. So appreciate it. i put links below in the description of this video how to join the channel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, my friends. Make sure and like, share, subscribe, all that uh, good stuff. As always, keep wrenching, and we'll see you again in the next video.